Hello everyone. Welcome to session 22 of software testing made easy course. In this session, we are going to continue with the live project that is part 16 of the independent software testing live project where I am going to show you how to prioritize your test cases. In one of the previous sessions guys, we already created the test cases, right? We created the complete test cases. Let me show you. So in one of the previous sessions, we already created the complete end to end test cases for an application guys. Let me show you the application also. This is the application for which we created the complete test cases guys for all the functionalities in this application for all the complete functionalities in the application. We created the complete test cases. You can refer to the previous videos uh, if you want to see how the test cases got created for all the functionalities in this application. You see here a lot of functionalities, right? So almost uh, there were like 500 plus test cases created as part of the previous sessions. Fine. Now guys, now in this session, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prioritize the test cases. So we'll, we'll select one of the category of the test cases and we'll prioritize that set of test cases guys. As you already know here, we categorize the test cases according to the test scenarios, right? First thing is that we created the test scenarios and for each and every test scenario, we created the test cases. For example, restart functionality test scenario has 27 test cases. Login functionality test scenario has 23 test cases. Like each and every test scenario has some number of test cases, guys. So I don't want to uh, like uh, spend the complete time in going to each and every scenario and then prioritize. Rather, I'll take a sample of test cases uh, I'll show you for prioritizing guys. Okay, I'm not going to show you the prioritizing of the complete test cases. That's not a good thing. So I'll select one of the test scenario for which whatever the test cases are there, those test cases I'm going to prioritize and show you how to prioritize. Okay, the thing here is that you have to learn how to prioritize. That's the main intention. Okay, fine. Anyhow, so which uh, which category of test cases I have to check? Let's take this register functionality guys. Okay, let's take the register functionality. It has 27 test cases. So let's go to the register functionality tab. Okay, here you see we are taken to the register functionality. Here there are 27 test cases in this particular tab. Okay, all the test cases related to the register functionality are displayed here. Now we have to prioritize these test cases. But before I prioritize anything, guys, what why we have to prioritize? What's the main reason behind prioritizing these test cases? The main reason here is not all the times you will get the time for testing the entire application, guys. Okay, so the application sometimes what happens is there will be less time for testing this entire application. For example, if the client has asked you to test this particular application, okay, in uh, three or four hours, what you will do, guys? Can you complete all these test cases in three or four hours? Not possible, guys. Okay, you may get different type of requirements from the client. Suddenly, client will ask you to complete these test cases by end of the day, or uh, he may ask you to like uh, complete testing of this application by afternoon or three hours or four hours, some timeline he gives in that kind of uh, situations, guys, it may not be possible for you to test the complete test cases of all the complete functionalities, right? So what we have to do, what is the idea here is we'll prioritize the test cases, guys. We'll prioritize the test cases for all the functionalities. So here there are a lot of functionalities here, right? For all these functionalities, we'll prioritize the test cases. When client asks you to complete the test cases within less time or you got very less time to test the application using the test cases then as a priority okay as a priority you will test the application guys you will you will test the high priority test cases first based on your time you will test the test cases guys okay first you will test the high priority test cases then the next priority test cases if the time is still there you will go with the next priority test cases like that guys that's the best way of uh, testing the application guys. Even though you have time also, it's better to test according to the priority guys. Okay, don't test uh, in a sequential manner. Test uh, the application according to the priorities. Okay, the test cases which are of high priority need to be tested first, going with the second priority, third priority, or whatever priority level you have assigned. Fine. Now in this session, I am going to practically show you how to prioritize your test cases. So for that, I have taken one of the tab that is restart tab, which uh, I'm going to prioritize and uh, I'll show you how to prioritize by looking at the test cases, by going through the test cases. Let's say we need to prioritize the first test case. 
So verify registering an account. Registering an account is the main functionality of the register, right? Without uh, registering an account, this functionality doesn't exist. And uh, most of the people actually provide only mandatory fields, right? So uh, everyone is lazy providing all the fields while registering an account. So we can give the this particular thing as a high priority. So what I will do is I'll go here and give the priority as P1, guys. So I'm planning to put uh, like three priorities, guys. Okay, I'm okay with three priorities. It's up to you guys, uh, depending on you. Based on the kind of situations you are getting the project, you can either term this priorities as P1, P2, P3, even P4, P5 also you can do, or you can start from P0, P1, P2, P3, P4. Okay, it's up to you. But here in this example, while I'm prioritizing the test cases, I'm giving P1, P2, P3 only guys. So I'm okay with P1, P2, P3, fine. Now, next one is P1 means first priority, right? In my case. Now, next one, verify thank you for registering email is sent to the register email address as a confirmation for registering the account. We, this is compulsory, right? Once you register an account, uh, you have to get, maybe you can give uh, like a, a kind of P2 kind of priority, but it's also important, guys. This scenario is also, this test case is also important. Now verify with the, all the all the fields. Uh, you, can, you can test that as a second priority, that's fine, because you already tested with the mandatory fields. Okay, you already tested the same scenario with the mandatory fields. Now it, they are asking you to test the creating an account with all the fields. So I'm just giving second priority. In the first priority anyhow, one of the scenarios is covered. So it's better. You have to think in all directions, guys, okay? If uh, the flow is already covered, you can give the second priority, something like that, okay? Not all the times you have to see the importance of the test case. Uh, then verify proper notification messages are displayed for the mandatory fields when you don't. This one can go to the third priority, guys, okay? We can give it less time, less priority, okay? We don't have to test that as the first priority. So it's the third priority. At least the functionality is working as part of the P1s. That's fine. Verify registering an account when S option is selected from the newsletter options. So here registering an account is already covered above. So I'll give this as a kind of P3 guys. Okay, this is important scenario only, but uh, since the coverage is already done, I'm going with the P3. So coming to the next one, no option. This is also important uh, thing only but I'm going with P3 because one of the high level priority is already covered. Then verify different ways of navigating. Definitely P3 guys, okay. Navigation to this particular page is P3. Then entering the password and confirm password. This is also P3. Next one, verify registering an account by providing the existing account details. This is also P3. You see, this is how simple it is to prioritize a test case. Verify registering an account by providing an invalid email address, P3. So verify registering an account by providing invalid phone number, P3. You see, now tomorrow if uh, you have very less time, you can focus on P1 and P2 guys, okay? Based on your times. If you have more time, you can focus on P1, P2, P3. If you have less time, you will first test P1 and P2. Then if you have more time, then we'll go to P3. Like that guys, you have to plan like that, testing. Verify registering an account by using the keyboard keys. This is also P3. Next one, verify all the fields in the register account page have the proper placeholders, P3. Verify all the mandatory fields in the register account are marked with P3. Then verify the details that are provided while registering an account are stored in the database. This one you can give it as P2, okay, P2. Then ver verify whether the mandatory fields in the register account are accepting only spaces, P3. So, sorry. It's very simple guys, how to prioritize a disk. Verify the password fields in the register account page are following the password complexity standards. I'll give P3 for now. Uh, and verify whether the fields in the register account page are according to the client requirements. This is also P3. Most of the things will be P3 guys. We'll We'll actually read it very fast and see. Verify whether the leading and trailing spaces entered P3. This is P3. From 19 onwards, guys, just remember, if anything different comes, we'll write down that and then come down, okay? Verify whether the privacy policy checkbox is not selected by default, P3. Verify listing the account without selecting the privacy policy option, P3. Verify the password entered into the password and of the register account is toggled to add it with P3. Verify navigating to the other pages using the options or links provided on the register account page, P3. Verify registering an account by filling password field and not filling password confirm field P3. 
verify uh, verify the breadcrumb page heading page url page title of register account p3 verify the ur of the register account page p3 and uh, in all the environments is something like uh, p2 you can say okay last one is p2 and remaining everything is p3 guys so i'll put the p2 in the last item because we need to test this particular uh, thing in all the environments as a priority right so that's why i'm putting like that so but uh, these are all p3 cases okay you say like this guys you can prioritize your test cases so when time is not there you can focus on the first high priority test cases first you have to test the high priority test cases and once the high priority test cases are done you will go to the second priority test cases then if the second priority is also done then you will go to the third priority if you even have fourth and fifth priorities you can go to the fourth and fifth based on your available time guys so this is known as uh, test case prioritization guys hope you understood how to prioritize your test cases so that's it for today's session guys that's it for this session in the next session okay we'll come up with another thing so we'll continue with the live project as part of the next session that is part 17 of the live project will be continued in the next session so see you in the next session guys thank you bye